Hey guys, all right, so we're gonna do another edit on Camtasia. So let's get right into it. All right, so I'm on Camtasia and I wanna import my files. Now I'm going to do this video. So I just wanna double click on that and then there it is. All right, so we're gonna drag this onto our timeline it's going to ask me for my dimensions 1280 by 720 all right first thing this is a longer video so this tutorial might be longer um, I'm going to edit the beginning so you see how in the last one I had a whole bunch of choppy parts that means I was making mistakes you see here it's one continuous flow that means that I got it on the first try so I'm going to clip this and make sure that I have my mouth not wide open. I'm very animated when I speak so it's kind of hard to get a good shot of me. We'll have to do with this one. Alright, so highlight and delete and then highlight and move over. Then I'm going to make these tabs smaller. Just my personal preference. You guys can do what you like. Then I'm going to go to the end. Oh, but you see some spaces, so I did make some mistakes. The end here, and we'll play it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so I want to chop the end of this. Highlight, oops, highlight, delete. Now, if you remember, I said before you go on, you want to edit your audio. It's just gonna make it a lot simpler for you guys if you do it like this. So I'm gonna click on the tab with the audio and you can tell that that's the one because it has all of the audio marks here, all the little thing that look like teeth. That is your audio. So you wanna click on the audio tab then I want to click enable noise removal and then I want to raise it a bit so to about there now I can start going through and editing if I made any mistake or zoom in or add a, a border or remove the background and things like that so let's get into the meat of it Hey guys, guys alright, so, so in this video, video I'm going to be talking, gonna be talking about, about what your YouTube, YouTube channel should look like. And as, as an example, example, let's head over to the screen. screen. This, this is, is our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Pause. Okay. So you know how I just said, okay, let's head over to the screen. That means that I need to move this video of me to the corner because now we're going to be looking on the screen. You don't want, I don't want me to say, Let's head over to the screen and then the video of me is right in the middle there and you can't see anything. So I've got to move that video to the corner. So let's just play it again so we can get right placement. Move the cursor. Let's head over to the screen. All right, so I say it right there. So now I want this video square of me. I want to add an animation and move this to the corner of the screen. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you want to click on the actual video. So I'm going to click on it, make sure that it's highlighted. And then you want to go to the more tab and go to visual properties. Sometimes it'll pop up here depending on how um, you have your tabs laid out, but it's going to be visual properties. Now this little, this little uh, tab here could be confusing. It can confuse people a lot. So I'm going to take it slow. So now that I've got the visual properties tab, you want to click add animation first and then move the video. A lot of people move the video and then add the animation, but you want to do it like this. Add animation, then this little thing is going to pop up here, this little circle with this yellow flare out, that's going to pop up. Then you want to move your video how you'd like it positioned. So I want this to go smaller and then I want it to go in the corner of the screen and maybe just a tad smaller. So that's what I want it to do. 
So I'll show you what it looks like, what the animation looks like. All right, here we go. As an example, let's head over to the screen. This is our... All right, so you saw that animation. The video clip started in the middle and then it, um, I added an animation and then it just slid over to the corner there very nicely. So in the beginning, I'm just talking. So we actually don't need the, the background of the channel right now. So I'll show you what I'm going to erase now. So let's see where I need to position this. Example, let's head over to this. All right, so I'm going to at a route here I'm going to click the background. So this is what the screen is, right? This is what's happening on my screen. I want to click the split tool and I just want to remove that piece only and you'll see why. So I'm going to click delete. I'm going to start over here and you'll see what I mean. So you see now that there's a nice clean background and you don't have a the, the background of the YouTube channel, it just makes it a lot neater for people to see. If I'm talking and I've got that in the background, it just doesn't look as um, clean. So here's what it looks like. And as an example, let's head over to the screen. This is our... All right, so it works out smoothly there. So I've got a black background, then the video goes smaller, and then I'm in the corner, and then now we're on the screen. So before I even move forward, I'm going to do my signature move, which is putting a border around the video. I just like the way it looks. You guys, um, you have your own preferences, right? So I'm going to place this here in the very beginning. I'm going to whoops, click on the actual sketch motion, change the color to purple. It's my favorite color. And then I'm going to put a border around the video. I like the way this looks. You guys feel free to put a border if you want or not. It's up to you. But this is sort of like my signature move that I do. Reet does it as well. So you just want to make sure that it's even. All right, so now that we've got it, we're going to stretch it so that it goes away when the video of me goes smaller. So we'll just play it from here. As an example, let's head over to the screen. This is our YouTube. All right, so you see how everything is working together. So the, uh, the border, the purple border, fades out as my video is getting smaller and sliding. And then the black background now turns into the screen. So that's what it looks like here on the timeline. And it can get a little crazy on the timeline sometimes, but that's okay. That's why I shrink it so that I can see everything. So next, let's play the rest of the video and see if we can add any more effects uh, as needed. YouTube channel. So this is Esatino Artists, and this is our YouTube channel. Feel free to check us out on YouTube. And right away, you can see that it's very visually appealing, and it looks professional. We've got a profile... All right, so, so far, so good. I'm going to pause the video right now because it's going to be really, really long. So I'm gonna pause it right here and then I will get back to you guys when I have found another area in the video to work on. All right, so I found a part here and I'm just gonna play it and then I will let you know what I'm about to do in the video. So the first thing that I want to show off to you guys is a profile picture, okay. So as soon as I say profile picture, I want to use the zoom and pan tool to zoom in on that area so people can get a closer look at what I'm talking about, the profile picture. So you want to choose the area at what point in the video you want to zoom in. This is the point here that I want to zoom in. So I'm going to click the zoom and pan and you want to pay attention to this side of the screen. Don't pay attention to the right side of the screen. So you want to zoom in here. You want to hold the corner piece and you want to zoom in to where you'd like on the screen. So I'm going to zoom in on the profile picture so that people can get a better look at what I'm talking about. And let's play that back. Show off to you guys is a profile picture. You want to put a nice profile picture. It can be... 
So now that I've zoomed in and I've had uh, some time pass by, I want to go back out to the original settings where you can see everything. So I just wanted to do a quick highlight there, zoom in, and then I want to come back out. So you want to put the cursor where you want to come back out. So I wanted to come back out here. And you'll see here that it's still in the same position that I zoomed up in. So you got to do the reverse of what you just did. You want to hold down and you want to pull it back to where it was originally. That's going to zoom out. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. This is a profile picture. You want to put a nice profile picture. It can be one of you or if it's your logo, that's fine. I prefer to... Okay, so you saw how it zoomed in and it zoomed out there. Now I'm going to go into the video and I'll see where else needs to be edited. Okay, so I found another spot here. I'm just going to play it for you. A gathering. So I would... Alright, so you see how I just paused there and I lost my words? Well, I'm going to cut it of us at um, a gathering. gathering. So I'm going to stop it at gathering. And if you need to zoom in and see what's going on, you want to click this little magnifying, this bigger magnifying. If you click this smaller magnifying, that's going to zoom out. So you want to zoom in and you want to see where you're clipping if you can't see what's going on. So I'm going to highlight it, split tool, and then I'm going to move the cursor and see where I start up again. So, so I, would I would suggest, suggest... alright, so here is where I start back up again, and I'm going to highlight it, clip it, highlight, delete, and then highlight, move over. I know this seems like a lot if you haven't done this before, but once you get used to it, it's really easy. Alright, so I'm going to find another place. Be right back. Alright, so we've got the last edit here, and this is just the, the ending, I think. So let's see if this is it. So that was just a quick summary. Okay, so that's what I want here at the end, and let's see what this is as well. Okay, so I want to clip there, and then I want to clip here, and then delete that, and shimmy it all over. So you can see that with all the, with all the pauses I've got, I managed to shave off a couple of minutes um, from the actual, the, the original uh, video length because there were a bunch of mistakes that I edited out. So that's how you edit this video. This one was a more in-depth video. This one had um, a lot more cuts and it had more uh, callouts and zoom and pans and things like that going on. So as you can see, it's not that hard when once you get used to it and always refer back to these videos if you get stuck. And of course, if you if you um, really don't know what's going on and you're having some major troubles, you know, post a question in the discussion area and ask us, you know, we're, we're happy to help you guys. So now that this video is done, I'm going to produce and share this video just like the last one. I'm going to go MP4 up to 720, click next, and this video was called What Your YouTube Channel Should Look Like Final. Click finish. I'm going to click finish in just a moment, but I'm going to end this video first. So you click finish and then that's it. And then I'm going to take the final video and then I'm going to add it into our folder. And then I'm eventually going to be uploading those videos into our Udemy course lectures. All right. So that was the end of this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.